Hello, my name is Grant Huff, clinical consultant with Welch Allen. Since it is a brand new device and you are setting up the monitor for the first time, the monitor has no power. Turn the monitor upside down to access the battery cover. Locate the battery indicated by the battery symbol. Insert a coin into the slot and push to open. Slide in the battery. Replace the battery cover by inserting one end into the notched access and then pressing firmly on the opposite end. New batteries are only 30% charged, so be sure to connect the device to AC power immediately after inserting a new battery. To mount the monitor on a stand, align the monitor on the back plate in the center of the stand tray. Tighten the screw on the plate into the screw hole on the back of the monitor. To attach the SureTemp Plus probe well, first align the probe well with the tabs facing up and down and insert the probe well into the temperature module. The probe well snaps into place when it is fully seated. Insert the temperature probe into the probe well. The temperature module only operates with the probe well properly in place so it is important to perform these steps correctly. First, remove the cover of the temperature module by pressing the tab and sliding the cover to the right. The cover is located at the bottom right of the monitor below the probe well. Hold the temperature probe cable connector with the spring tab on the right and insert it into the probe port of the temperature module. Push it into place until it clicks. Reattach the cover. Use the alignment tab and slide the cover to the left to click it back into place. To attach the Braun Thermoscan ear thermometer, attach the USB cable to the back of the Braun docking station and then to the USB port in the back of the Kinex vital sign monitor. To connect the NIBP hose, align the hose connector with the hose connector port on the side of the monitor. Insert the hose connector, pressing firmly until it clicks into place. Before connecting the SPO2 cable, ensure sensor and pulse oximetry cable are in good condition. Damaged sensors or cables pose a patient injury risk. Place your thumb and forefinger on the SPO2 cable connector and squeeze the side tabs. Align the cable connector with cable connector port. Insert the cable connector, pressing firmly until it clicks into place. It is easy to attach an accessory to the monitor. First, turn the monitor so you are facing the rear of the unit. Then, loosen the screw on the USB door and open it. Attach the accessory's USB cable into an unused USB port on the monitor. Be sure to connect your cables in a way that minimizes entangling. Close the door and tighten the screw. You can use the monitor with AC or battery power. To connect AC power, insert the power cord into the AC power connector port on the back of the monitor. Insert the power plug into a power outlet to power the monitor and charge the battery. Press the power button to power up the monitor. The monitor runs a brief diagnostic self-test each time it powers up. Following a successful self-test, the LED light bar flashes. The monitor displays the Welch Allen logo and a power up tone sounds. Listen for the fan to start when you power up the monitor. The fan circulates air through the device. If the fan does not run when you power up the device, remove it from use and inform qualified service personnel immediately. Do not use the monitor until the problem is corrected. To ensure patient safety, listen for two audible indicators, a piezo beeper and a speaker tone, and watch for visual alerts at power up. Correct any system errors before using the monitor. Always observe the monitor during power up. If any display fails to illuminate properly or if an error code displays, inform qualified service personnel immediately or call Welch Allen customer service or technical support. Do not use the monitor until the problem is corrected. Always use the monitor with an adequately charged and properly functioning battery. For continuous monitoring, always connect to AC power. The startup screen then appears with the banner across the bottom. 
your monitor is now ready to use. To power down your monitor and detach the accessories, follow these steps. Touch the battery or plug-in icon in the upper right-hand corner. Touch power down. To disconnect the AC power, disconnect the power plug from the outlet. You may also disconnect the power cord from the AC power connector port on the back of the monitor if you like. To detach an accessory, loosen the screw on the USB door and open it. Detach the accessory's USB cable from the USB port on the monitor. Close the door and tighten the screw. To disconnect the SBO2 cable, place your thumb and forefinger on the cable connector, always grasping the cable by the connector, not pulling on the cable itself. Squeeze the side tabs until the connector releases. Pull the connector away from the connector port. To disconnect the NIBP hose, place your thumb and forefinger on the hose connector, always grasping the hose by the connector, not pulling on the hose itself. Squeeze the side tabs until the connector releases. Pull the connector away from the connector port. Should you need to remove the temperature probe and well, follow these steps to disconnect the probe cable and remove the probe well. Remove the cover of the temperature module by pressing the tab and sliding the cover to the right. The cover is located at the bottom right of the monitor below the probe well. Depress the spring tab on the temperature probe cable connector and withdraw it from the probe port. Reattach the cover. Use the alignment tab and slide the cover to the left to click it back into place. Grasp the probe well and pull it up to remove it from the monitor. This was a brief overview of how to set up your monitor, including powering it up for the first time. We also covered powering down the monitor and detaching the accessories.